Here's the name That's the shirts and the cup. I don't know. Guys, this is the name of the band that was playing. I hope you enjoy this video and my videos that I'm going to be posting. It's called Get Shorty. No, yeah. Get Shorty. Have you ever heard of them before? Let me show you. It's called Get Shorty. I believe that is the name of the band that you heard the good music. That's an old type of bus. It's a very old bus. So you're leaving without us. Watch where you go. Um, there's the Schaefer Leather Store right there, and they're really, really expensive. It's called Schaefer Leather. Leather. Do they still have the chocolate store? Yeah, they do. And then, um. The gold, gold line girls, that's um, a jewelry place. They have all different types of stuff. And stores and little, see when it flooded here, didn't it, didn't it flood in 2004 really bad and all these stores had to oh, yeah, redo every it? year when it floods, all the water goes clear up past the windows not every year well the last the well, 2004 last, it did last not, year it went covered all the street and, and stepped in but, I think this, is Ryan's, uh, shop this right shop right here um i know the girl name is um brianna or brandy brandy she has um cerebral palsy her mom owns that store the lanes. Oh, here's the horses. Oh, guys, here's the horses. You guys want to go see the horses? Okay. We're going to go see the horses. It's a beautiful horse. Too bad I didn't have any, too bad I didn't have any money. We could have rode. Here's the beautiful horses. Yeah, he's so pretty. Hi. Such a pretty horse.
And then here's the other horse. Aww. It's so pretty. Oh look, they got a little thing for the poop. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh guys, here's the Marriott Brewing Company. They Let's go in and look at the page. I want to show you, Thank you. this. I don't know. This is the thing that brews like root beer. They make root beer and stuff. Beer. It's so packed, guys. In there, we can't go in there. It's too packed. It's too packed. So here is some more stores. And so. And then there's some pretty stores over here. Maybe we walk over there and I'll show the stores now. Guys, I'm going to show you the stores. Are we going to walk on up and then come around and go back? Probably. I want to go down there and ship. Sh we could go all the way around the block. Yeah, I wanted to show the Putnam thing, but that. Okay, guys. Yeah, this is a cooking store. You can take cooking classes in here, and and, and you can um, buy cooking supplies. Oh, and there's little two little pit bulls. <laughs> then there's some more stores. It's really really cool, guys. Get on the front row, right? All these stores. Maybe we'll see our friend Jeremy here. I don't know. He might be three shades under the wind. We'll Hope I don't see Jennifer. I wonder who was in a white house. Well, when we go back, we'll look. I'll tell Nathan that she went, she's out of jail because she, well, we seen her. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say what we saw her. She's out of jail, and she um and she was going down on Harbor Hill. On Harbor Hill. I mean, not, not Harbor School. I mean, and um she went in some White House. Some White House. No, it's, no. Yeah, it is, but it's by Harbor School. Here's, this is an antique store right here. Ooh, what are they having down there? This is all right. They got all this credit and they had to go in and redo it. I wonder what they're having down here at the armory. Guys, this is an armory. It used to be for the war. And I think it was a hospital. Yeah, they redid that. And they redid it. Oh, it's an animal show. Guys, it's an animal show. It's from it's like no, it's a um like a Columbus Zoo or something. So we're gonna go see some animals, guys. It's Columbus Zoo. up in the canopy. And like that toddy cat, like toddy we just saw, she has huge paws, short legs, and a huge tail. So when she's full grown, 
she'll be six feet they, long. And half of that is just going to oh, be that I tail. So I she'll know. never grow into that tail. Well. She'll also never grow into her paws. So when she's full grown, those paws are going to be about the same size of an adult human's hand yeah. spread out. So those huge paws. So like I said with Tati, those big paws are going to help her increase her surface area when she's out oh, climbing around the canopy. Because she's basically never found walking on the ground. She always likes to be a pie. Maybe we should go The short leg is going to make sure she's not too tall. But and that I'm huge tail is pretty amazing because she actually, when she jumps, she'll Guys. twirl it in the air with her. It looks like a little helicopter almost, like a slow There's moving a helicopter. And that'll make sure she lands every jump perfectly that she takes. Because as a cloud, as a cloud lover, whenever she's up high in the canopy, it'd be very detrimental if she were to misjudge a jump or anything. So. All those adaptations help her make sure she lands every jump perfectly so she never has to worry about it. But you also notice she gets her name the clouded leopard because of that cloud-like pattern across her pelt. So that cloud-like pattern, it resembles the clouds in the sky, but it also serves another role as part of her camouflage too. Because if you guys are in a forest on a sunny day and you look up into the leaves, it's gonna be very shady where all the leaves are. But in between all the leaves, there's gonna be streams of light as well. So that pelt, those big kind of dark splotches on her pelt, kind of resemble those leaves. And then that light color she has in between all of them resembles the light shining in through the leaves too. Because where you find the cloud leopards is always above you when you're in Southeast Asia. So whenever you're looking up and you're seeing that shades of leaves and the light streaming in, it mimics that pelt that she has too. But as a cloud too, you also notice on the back of her ears, she has little white spots. And those are something you find on a lot of cat species. And it takes the term, I have eyes in the back of my head, literally. And even though she can't see out of them, those eye spots mimic the whites of an eye. So for predators, because she's in territory with like tigers, so she's not the Mom, biggest, sorry, baddest kitty out there. So she uses those eye spots to trick animals into thinking that she always has an eye on what's going on around her. So it's a really cool thing. A lot of our cats have them, like our bobcats and everything too. And usually the common thread is, is that it's not really the most dominant cat in the different predator systems. So it is something to kind of help her monitor what's going on around her. As I said, as a cat who spends her entire life up in the trees, her favorite thing to eat are like monkeys and birds and that kind of stuff. So anything she finds up high with her. And she's pretty cool because whenever she's hunting, she can actually hang just from her back paws. So she'll be hanging from a tree just off her back legs and she'll reach down and grab her food too. But one of the most memorable things about the cloud is that, have you guys seen the movie Ice Age? Do you guys know Diego and Ice Age? Yeah, so Diego is called a saber-toothed cat or saber-toothed tiger. And Suda, the cloud leopard here, whenever she's full grown, she's gonna have the same size of a canine tooth as a tiger. And she is not gonna be anywhere close to a tiger's size. She's gonna be about 400 pounds less than a tiger, but she'll have the same size of a canine 